And now, please welcome a man that we're going to be getting to know a lot better the next coming year, the NALBA chair elect and this year's Government Affairs Committee chairman. Please join me in welcoming Ray Phillips. So prior to my government affairs report, I'd like, uh, as your 2013 chair, to share some good news and bad news with you. The bad news is I can't play the guitar. But the good news is I'm a big Monty Python fan, so we'll see what happens next year. <laughs> We're an industry that places great value on certainty. Our producers' customers depend on products to plan their futures. They want to sleep at night knowing they'll have enough money for retirement. They don't want to worry that there'll be enough money to pay the mortgage should the worst happen. They want to take responsibility for their own financial well-being, and they look to their agents and us to help them do that. Our industry doesn't just sell insurance. We provide certainty, and consumers live better lives because of it. Wouldn't it be nice if our industry had a little certainty? Certainty that we'll be able to continue to maintain despite the current state of the economy. Certainty that more Americans will be able to continue to put their faith in us to help protect their finances. Certainty that the incentives to invest in our products are going to be preserved. We don't have this certainty. If Congress lets the current tax code expire at the end of this year, our country's economic recovery will be threatened. The Social, the Social Security payroll tax holiday will expire. The Bush tax cuts will expire. The estate tax will go back to 2001 levels of a $1 million exemption and a 55% top rate. And major cuts to government spending will start taking place. This is expected to drive consumer spending down significantly and take us back into a recession. This is what the political pundits call the fiscal cliff. The easy way out for Congress is to extend the current law for another six months or more and let the newly elected Congress formulate a solution. It's a short-term solution for a long-term problem. Next year, under President Obama's leadership, Congress will attempt to look at every possible source of new revenue. It's possible that they will discuss eliminating tax-free inside buildup. It's even possible they may target tax-free death benefits. Everything is on the table. More people having less money to invest is not only bad for our business, it will make it harder for us to provide financial certainty to the next generation of consumers. What's more worrisome is that our industry provides low-risk financial security to people who are willing to take some responsibility for their own economic well-being. Without us, Americans have very few options to protect themselves. We are a critical resource to help Americans weather the economic storm, and that is the message we need to take to Congress. If Congress takes away incentives to invest in our products, they may be shoring up the revenue bridge to mine the fiscal gap, but they do it at the expense of preserving Americans' individual financial security. But as NALBA members, please listen here. Not only do we need to take this message to our lawmakers, we need to take this message to our producers and our colleagues. Understand that we're in a unique position as NALBA members because we have the NALBA government affairs to keep us informed of the major events in Washington that can impact our business and our producers' business. Many of our producers are not member of agents associations and therefore may not be privy to the kind of information that we can provide them. We have the ears of producers who are not affiliated, and we need to get, involved, get them involved with our advocacy efforts. NALBA Government Affairs has made great progress this past year in its advocacy efforts on your behalf. Our political action committee, NALBA PAC, enjoys a tremendous amount of support, which we have leveraged to develop new relationships with key lawmakers while building and reinforcing the relationships we already have. We teamed up with the Association for Advanced Life Underwriting on their Brokerage Task Force Initiative, a partners, partnership that works specifically on policy issues impacting independent distribution channels. On a broader level, 
We are partners in the Americans to Protect Family Security Coalition of Insurance Associations, including the American Council of Life Insurers, the National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors, AALU, and Gamma International. Our coalition has not only been actively lobbying on Capitol Hill for the preservation of the tax treatment of our products, we've taken our case to the public by taking out full page print ads in major publications, producing radio ads, and conducting polls and focus groups to help educate Americans about the value we provide to the 75 million families in this country. I urge you to consider joining your fellow financial service professionals in Washington, D.C. on April 8th and 9th for the NAFA Congressional Conference and Fly-In. This event, which is open to NALBA members and others in the insurance and financial service community, gives you the opportunity to voice, gives, gives you the opportunity to add your voice to the industry's efforts. Visit the NAFA website to register and view the video that demonstrates the positive influence our industry has. It is our job to provide certainty to Americans that depend on life insurance. In order to do that effectively, we must stay informed and work to influence the legislative process so that we can continue to provide that certainty and comfort that helps people live their lives without fear for their financial future. No other industry is better suited than we are to teach our lawmakers about the value of certainty and help them provide it to the American people. NALBA Government Affairs is our resource to help accomplish that. Thank you very much.